Next up, we've got poor Jim here. Uh, this is Jim Cooper, Digital Participation and Coordinator with CLASP. Um, CLASP Digital is a two-year uh, project. Currently, it was a pilot project currently supported through the Scottish Government's Digital Participation Initiative. Uh, we finish at the end of July. Uh, so this presentation is therefore something of a slightly premature uh, evaluation of the project. So CLASP, uh, Community-Led Action and Support Project, is our umbrella charity. Uh, consulted at service users uh, a couple of years ago on what they were interested in doing uh, and one of the top responses was help for uh, using tablets and smartphones. Class Digital therefore was set up to encourage digital participation. Um, we provide a basic introduction to using smart technology, to getting connected and helping our learners do what they want to do online safely and securely. Digital exclusion as we know goes hand in hand with multiple deprivation. Class Digital is about uh, Overcoming barriers to learning, improving health and well-being, maximising financial resources, promoting citizenship, and uh, one I'll briefly talk about is uh, contributing to national priorities. Uh, so, for example, by preparing people in advance of the introduction of digital health services, as we've been hearing about, attend anywhere is a good example. So, you're, therefore, you're, you're creating a win-win situation by maximising NHS Scotland's resources uh, and minimising stressful tr trips for patients, and by extension, uh, helping, helping to tackle uh, the climate emergency by minimising carbon footprint. It's not something I hear a lot of people mention. The most significant discovery for me has been the realisation that the people who stand to benefit most from the digitalisation of public facing health services are the people uh, who are least capable of actually engaging with it, uh, the over 60s. So whilst originally not an age specific project, Clasp Digital was introduced to some figures in the autumn of 2017, um, indicating that while around 20% of Scots adults don't have basic digital skills, uh, when you look at the corresponding figure for the over 61, that, will, that jumps to 47.5%. Uh, we have since paid particular attention to this specific group of learners. So delivery happens in public venues, uh, in a one-to-one -one and small group situations. Uh, sessions last no more than an hour. Uh, over the period, we've evidenced the following needs amongst its client base, uh, our client base. So the need for uh, digital learning support amongst older learners, as I say. Um, service delivery must be designed around this learning community's needs. So in common with other research relating to digital um, participation among seniors, we find that one-to-one -one sessions are much more effective than groups or class situations. Our tutoring approach is learner-centred, as no two learners have the same experience, understanding or skills, um, and volunteer peer learning makes learners more relaxed and open to learning the subject. Many older people have little or no experience of digital technology and the conceptual leap necessary to acquire an understanding of their mobile devices is considerable. The most common statement I hear when I first sit down with a, a new learner is, you'll never have met anyone as stupid as me about these things. Um, and as mentioned, confusing dig uh, digital terminology is the first barrier to people not already immersed in it. It's all, you know, just rolls off our tongue when we talk about it. So a couple of quotes. The Play Store, isn't that just for games? What is data? Every time I see the word account, I think it's going to cost me money. And this one, is Gmail better than email? <laughs> so these are all, all quotes, all quotes. So uh, we use the nationally recognized Essential Digital Skills Framework, which is designed to help people tackle uh, using digital communications, uh, handle digital information and transactions, and digital self-help, help them find the, the solutions to their own digital problems. Clasp Digital took the framework and simplified it for the benefit of our largely retired audience by removing the work focus skills part of it and presenting what remained through our own bronze, silver and gold skills model. These are further categorised under the headings of skills relating to the device that they're using, uh, how to use the web itself and guidance on staying safe and secure online. So for the people that like numbers, uh, to date the project has registered over 150 learners who have attended over 1400 sessions in 10 locations around North Ayrshire. We have a team of 12 volunteer digital buddies, specially trained by the coordinator, who support the project. And to date, the volunteers have recorded well over 400 hours of, uh, with, with class with digital learners. We held a celebration event in January 2019 when we had 13 learners who achieved uh, certificates. In terms of what works, uh, learners are asked to complete uh, an impact forum to record their thoughts on their experience with Class Digital. We have received 100% positive feedback, with the following being the most commonly cited project positives. One-to-one -one delivery, uh, I'll underline that forever. Uh, patience of tutors, and progression happens at learner's own pace. 
and the learners gain generally more confidence using their smart devices as a common comment. Uh, they're better able to keep in touch with family and friends and saving money, which I didn't think make it, made it to the list just about. Uh, it makes me incredibly proud that 100% of the learners uh, who filled in the forums would recommend Clasp Digital to their friends and family. Last one. Finally, uh, some quotes and anecdotes indicating the impact we've had. I'm much more confident using my tablet now. I'm not afraid of it anymore. Very common. Uh, I feel much less stupid. I know I can talk to my tutor and not be afraid of asking a question she thinks is daft. And I was a technophobe until I discovered Clasp Digital. Um, and lastly, I had a f I've had my phone for 18 months and I haven't known how to answer a call. I've missed so many. This will change my life. That lady, that was about three weeks ago. So two weeks after that, she came back to us and said that uh, she'd answered a call from her granddaughter who said, what happened, Gran? How do you mean? You actually answered your phone. It's the first time that you haven't hung up on me. So thank you very much for your time. Uh, I've been class